All right, I think somebody somehow clicked over the feed before I was ready, but that's okay. You heard me saying everything that was going to say, be said. Hot mic, hot mic. I was waiting. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was automatically programmed, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is 5 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, October 24th, broadcasting from the wooden table I use as a desk in my bedroom. This is the Toonami Audience Takeover Bracket. If you're not listening to this live on October 24th, you're probably listening to this on the Adult Swim podcast. Welcome to the present futures, viewer in future of the future and the present. In today's round, we're going to cut 32 shows down to 16 based on Instagram polls at Instagram.com slash Toonami Bracket. Oh boy, let's move this mouse so we can see. Oh, I got to log in there. <laughs> anyway... Uh, it's going to be an exciting time to figure out what the next round will entail, and polls will open up at the end of the episode. You can, of course, call in at 708-794-6386 to discuss your theories and insights. But first, uh, let's look at the bracket. Let's reiterate that this is not fair or balanced, uh, and I'm still not entirely sure what we can do if they win, though Kim alleges that potentially, based on who's winning, uh, the bracket that wins probably can get a marathon, but we're not exactly sure. We might need to think of alternatives as we get closer to the end. Let me introduce my uh, two very special friend guests. Uh, with us today are cartoon maker, musician, and actor, and dress-up artist Christy Caracas, creator of Super Jail, Ballmasters 9009, and also Matt Harrigan's favorite cartoon, Bar Fight. And to his upper right is Evan D'Elia, an anime and animation enthusiast, as well as a co-worker of mine in our website department who developed an interactive bracket for us to use. In fact, the interactive bracket is so cool, we're going to spoil one of the the results right now. Do you guys want to spoil the results just so we can see how cool the interactive bracket is? Go right ahead. All righty. The first we're gonna we're gonna spoil. We're gonna. Spoil. Oh, I do want to say first though okay. that you wanted the bracket to be made. It's not like I just made it as like Evan a fan did this thing. as a fan. You know, thing. as a fan yeah. of the tsunami. <laughs> bracket. He made yeah. It. We're gonna spoil Space Dandy versus My Hero Academia okay. first. Now, I'm gonna put on this sweater too. Uh oh. While that, you do this. That's making lots of noises. Now, who do you guys think is going to win between My Hero Academia and Space Dandy? The first matchup we're going to spoil just to demonstrate this visual bracket that people on the podcast are going to miss. I mean, I think it's a tough one. Those are both really big shows. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm kind of more of a Space Dandy fan personally, but I think My Hero is going to win because I know at work, when we're working on Ballmasters and stuff like so many people are big fans of that show and I actually haven't watched it yet. I've seen clips and the animation looks crazy. That's one I'm is on my watch list. So but mm -hmm. I kinda of think my hero. Yeah, I think my hero is probably gonna win. Even though I'm personally a bigger fan of Space Dandy. But uh Yeah. I, I think it's just probably my hero is just more popular and in the anime world. Let's talk to our caller. Hey, caller, we're doing an early reveal of our first matchup, My Hero Academia versus Space Dandy. Who do you think's gonna win before we reveal the cool interactive bracket? I'm gonna say My Hero Academia. Yeah, and why is that? Uh, this is Avi. Oh, because it's Avi. 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 <laughs> oh, so, yeah, uh, last week, talking. Um, we had two, the balance of power in the East bracket has shifted, uh, One Piece and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood are out, and now that could give Dragon Ball Z the edge, if it can beat JoJo's Bizarre Adventure this week. Um, um you see a lot of, uh, tension in, in that matchup. Yeah, and I will say, pay attention to the, uh, Upper West bracket. Uh, a Titan's gonna fall, and a Titan will rise, but which one will Attack on Titan be? Because it's up Ooh. against Cowboy Bebop. That is, that is some good insights. We're looking at opposite ends. We're looking at opposite corners of Titans. Cowboy Bebop and Attack on Titan there on the upper west and in the lower east. JoJo's versus Dragon Ball Z OG. 
But first, let's reveal this bracket. Thanks, Avi, for your chilling insights. All right. Chilling insights. Yeah, honestly. I really, that was good. Disgustingly chilling insights. Disgusting yeah. insights. Disgusting insights. Chillingly disgusting. Fucking gross. Made me want to throw up in my mouth, but in a good way. Have you thrown up recently at all? <laughs> no, no, not for a while. Maybe I'm due for a good puke sesh. Let's take a look. The winner of this first matchup reveal was My Hero Academia with 61% to 39. Just like we all uh, uh, argued and said would yeah. happen. Yeah, we're all, we're all big brain geniuses, so we knew. Who do you think is the smartest person here, Evan? Uh, I don't know. Let's click uh, it. Let's see the first moving, though. So I just click My Hero okay. Academia. Is that all I do? Yeah. Click it. Whoa! Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and it moves. Yeah, just one second, real quick. Bang. That's something to look forward to as we go forward in this episode. Okay. Now, Christy. Yeah. I would argue you and I these days have become tsunami adjacent content creators. <laughs> yeah, faux tsunamis. What does that mean? What does it? What, I, what does faux tsunamis mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like we got anime type shows, but they're not. You know they're not from Japan, true anime. So you know, I mean, we talk about this a lot. I always wondered, is it going to? Are people going to like embrace it, or they're going to give it? You know, give it shit. So, um, I mean, Ballmasters got wiped out fast. Wait, wait, you weren't in it? Were you in the? No, technically, I haven't been on Toonami yet. Technically, also, oh. it, the, the the building of the bracket was very confusing and strange. Gil yeah. had a lot. I, I don't know if Gil knew what wait, he wanted so... to do with it, but we also admitted it's not fair or balanced very early on. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, the official Toonami ranking. It's funny though, because Ballmasters is up against Soul Eater, and like I've never been a Soul Eater fan. I'm not a fan, and I don't hate it or anything. I just don't really love it, but I know it's a big show. But yeah, I, it's I, a big I knew, one. I knew Ballmasters would get knocked. Well, I thought it would get knocked out fast, but I was kind of hoping like, oh, maybe it'll go up against a not a not very popular show, but um, or an unknown show. But I mean, pretty much everything on this list, pretty much everything I know, and again, like. I mean, we were talking earlier. I mean, I've been into, you know, this is a tsunami thing, and I've been into anime since like high school, and I'm old. And what's funny is, um, you know, a lot of the stuff. There's some stuff on, you know, that might not be on here because it was it was on tsunami. But I just thought it was, I, I was, I listened to the first one. It was interesting about thinking about like, is it about is it a better show? Is it a more popular show? Or is it is something just more current, more hot right now? There's so many little things, but. I think ultimately people are going to vote on what they like the best, you know? Well, let's take a step back, because we're all slightly different different generations. I, yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of between both of you guys. For you, watching anime in high school, Christy, before everyone did it, before it was cool, what were you watching? What was on? Well, it was funny. I used to go, it was really crazy. I used to go to comic shops, and I was in the comics, and I remember, like, I think the first thing I saw was this, I'm from New Hampshire, so again, what you know, it's not like I was from the city or anything. So that's another, you know, maybe if you're in the city, you might be exposed to more people or there's more culture. So more, you know, like if you were near a Chinatown, maybe you'd see like comics or something. But anyways, uh, Viz, you know, remember, I don't know if Viz is even still around. V-I-Z, Viz, they put out like uh, Naus Nausuka or Nausuka. And uh, I would get that and I would get stuff like, I remember getting like Mai the Psychic Girl and stuff like that, just whatever was translated, right? But then there was this comic shop like an hour away from my house and they would have like, I don't know, I think we just went there to go to another comic shop because they'd have cooler, weirder stuff and it was a kind of a bigger shop, but they had bootlegs. So they had tons of stuff just in, you know, imports that were in Japanese. And then they had um, bootleg, there'd be, they take VHS off the laser discs and there'd be a list and you could order what you wanted. When you came back in a week, you could pick it up. And they were fanzines with like synopsis. So, um, like I would get, I remember I would just get stuff if it sounded cool. Like I remember getting, I would buy VHSs of like a lot of Gundam. I remember getting like Venus Wars, um, stuff like that, but it was like all in Japanese. So I didn't totally know what was going on. And, um, I just got really into it. So I was into Gundam. It was funny. I actually was digging up a lot of that stuff at home, but I found, I brought some of my old, I mean, these were the kind of stuff I would, oh, I'm going to turn this thing off like old. Oh, let me turn this filter off. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, like this one, Justy was like these space police. It's working now. Yeah, like, you know, it's kind of, you know, older, but reissues. And this one, Gray, was, I don't know if you've ever seen this. It's like a 
kind of future war thing. And oh, that's really cool. Were like, like I remember ordering, getting these crazy, like just Gundam books that were just like all, like, um, they're just all the Gundams from like all the different series up to that point. So they'd be like really cool, like, just, like, like really crazy drawings. You know, I like to draw, so I would draw this stuff and was really into it. Akira, obviously. But anyways, a lot of that stuff wasn't imported yet. So it was like, and a lot of people didn't know, you know, you wouldn't go to school and go, did you watch anime? Well, I don't even think we called it anime. I think we just called it Japanese animation. And then I think when I was in college, I kind of stopped watching. And then I think, what year did Toonami start? Oh man, 97? That, yeah, that makes sense because I, yeah, I graduated 96. college in 97. And what's interesting is I think a lot of people were exposed to anime from Toonami. Not everyone, but I think a lot. And I think now you, now I think it's just a standard, everyone knows what anime is. So I think, I just think it's interesting that there's like a different experience for some of this stuff. Like when I would watch it and see it, I was very like, you know, what is this? I don't even know what this crazy stuff is. It was like so exciting. It was like different. And you know, I collected Marvel and normal comics and underground comics too, you know, like, but um, yeah, anyways, it was a really cool, interesting, exciting thing. And then I sort of lost interest and I got older but then I kind of got back into it, and even doing Ballmasters, I remember during like the third or fourth season of Super Jail, I was starting to hear from the younger people in the crew about and seeing a lot of weirder, cool new anime. Like I remember Kill the Kill was out, and I remember being, I was always into Yuasa since like Mind Game, but I remember like Ping Pong had come out, and a lot, I was like, there's some crazy anime right now that's so amazing, because I just had kind of not been paying attention. And then I kind of got really into it again, and that's what kind of led to Ballmasters, and I was like, I kind of want to do it my own version of anime and um yeah i don't want to take up the whole thing no that, that's but, fine yeah well, it was it was fun though like i remember just being it was just like you know it didn't look like anything here it didn't look the same and it was crazy and it was like you know it would either be violent or the craziest robots or <clears throat> drawings and it was just, but i didn't really know about the stories because again they, they were not um i remember getting akira I, it was 40 bucks and 40 bucks was a lot more money when i was in high school and I remember ordering it from a place and it took like a month. And I remember when I got that tape showing friends, they're like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, ah, it's this crazy movie, Akira, it's so crazy. And then, but like Akira was, uh, I think Epic it was one of Marvel's smaller companies put it out. I think I think the Akira uh, US edition was the first like digitally colored comic or one of them. Cause I remember, um, even though the black and white ones kind of look, I, I like them both. But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know, I mean, it was like a whole gateway into this whole other world of crazy stuff. And now, now you can, I don't know. Now well, it's I'm, like, I'm, in fact, I'm putting over, people can't see this because it's the podcast. I'm putting on top of Evan's face, <laughs> just yeah. the text gateway drugs. Why? And, and uh, just because we're talking about uh, anime kind of being a gateway to a, a new <laughs> style of cartoon and probably, and it's interesting because yeah. I believe its roots <laughs> come from imitating Disney style. And then in hmm. a lot of ways, it's kind of yeah. circled back around into not only imitating in in in, in uh, uh, influencing you and I super directly in the reference points in the storytelling but mm -hmm. you know a lot of it, it's it's huge in the culture it's huge in it's kind of in rap culture it's in all sorts of things well it's funny if you if you ask me like what really do I think was like the biggest influence and in like how I draw and stuff like that and it's funny because I kind of think it's uh, probably like Katsuro Otomo like the guy who did Akira like Akira and 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 uh Miyazaki, even though I don't draw like that at all, but that's what I was like so psyched about, like in high school. And you know, when you're a kid, it's like a kid obsessed with playing the guitar or drawing. That's all you, you know, I didn't like play sports or go outside. So I would just draw all the time, listen to music, you know, like, like all the time just drawing. So it was like this became this obsession almost, you know, like, um, but yeah. Uh, what, what was your weirdest of, find that was like, whoa, I love this. And it's just stuck with you. It's just a strange find you found. <laughs> I mean, it's weird sometimes. I'm trying to think of some of the weirder ones because back, you know, in the, this was like, this was like late 80s, early 90s. Because I, I think this was probably like between something like 87, 88, or maybe 90. But I remember like, there was like, what's really interesting about it was, I guess if you look back and you see this too, like in anime, there would be kind of little trends. Like, like if you look at that area, I mean, that, that, like I remember, I mean, Akira is kind of like its own fucking thing. A lot of stuff we'll never touch, but like, there was a lot of stuff out like, you know, like Bubblegum Crisis or like, um, there was a lot of like that. Look, I was really into Macross. I was really into um, that kind of uh, stuff. But then there was this- What about Bobobo? What's that? What about Bobobo? 
what why isn't that show uh i feel like that was one of the weirdest anime or that i that i watched like when i was younger that was on toonami for a little bit it was like bobo bo 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 wait is that the one with the hair that comes out of the guy's yeah nose? the nose hairs and the fist yeah. of the nose hair that was one of the most ridiculous things uh that was awesome yeah that was, that was just like blew my mind that was one of the greatest finds for me i remember when all of a sudden like uh, what was it called not D is it demon city or like there'd be all of a sudden there was like the really the, the, demarco and those guys way know more of this than i do like because like there'd be trends like all of a sudden like, oh wicked city and stuff like there'd be like this mega violent almost porn tentacle porn type things and then there'd be a bunch of oh i remember you know what i really liked in high school guyver remember guyver he like has some kind of bio armor and he turns it he fights these monsters people turn into monsters and also um what's the other one uh, we actually we were talking with steve bloom i think he said his first voice acting job was the dub of guyver yeah oh, guyver wow. i was really into and um ninja scroll i was really into yeah because again they were when you're in high school too you're like it's so violent it's, it's so, so crazy violent. But There's... They, but they look crazy too yeah. again, i don't know if these are on the i mean i don't even know if these are on this thing this is just no, me no. talking about anime but my point was when i looked at this list and i was thinking this because of my age i was like there was a lot of stuff I loved that wouldn't, you know, just maybe stuff you didn't broadcast, but I love a lot of this new stuff. I mean, I love Fooly Cooly, I love Space Dandy, I love Yuasa, I love, you know, JoJo's, I love, you know, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, though, sometimes I remember really binging it and then being like, God, this is just too depressing. And then you just kind of stop for a while and go back <laughs> to it, you know, but, um, but anyways, yeah, like I, I mean, how do you guys get into this stuff? Well, I, mean, I, I personally, and then we'll get to you, Evan. I'll, I'll, I'll go quickly. Yeah, sure. I remember, I have right. probably oh. one of the most privileged sounding ways. So I grew up in Sonoma, California, which is also where uh, controversial Pixar creator John Lasseter lived. And he was responsible for a lot of Miyazaki movie dubs, like a second renaissance of Miyazaki movie dubs. And because I was in Cub Scouts with his son, <laughs> I like my stepdad who worked at a library would like bring these movies be like yeah John was talking about this and like I remember being like in high school like you know I'd also I'd seen some Cowboy Bebop I'd seen some Dragon Ball Z but honestly like it was kind of cooler kids who were into Dragon Ball Z I kind of liked it I kind of knew about Sailor Moon but it was getting into like Porco Rosso in high school and then getting into in college some newer stuff like Full Metal and uh, Death Note and then like rewatching. The Yu Yu Hakushus and the and the uh, and uh, old, older like n later '90s stuff like Yu Gi Oh's and and I also I remember I think I said this in the first episode my family got a test VHS for Pokemon to see if like it would work in the United States <laughs> we had to like oh, like nice. one of those Nielsen thing I don't even know if it's officially Nielsen but Tried we were sent to our man. house because we had they had children to see what it was like but I remember specifically like watching Porco Rosso and or or the one time like Jim brought home. Totoro when I was really young and being like, hey, John Lasseter's all about these new movies. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what else I really liked? I remember liking Pat Labor, and um, and again, I don't, I haven't. That's one that's an old one. I haven't seen new versions of. And um, there was this one. Did you ever see Venus Wars? No, I never saw Venus Wars. I seen Pat Venus Labor, but not Venus Wars. Crazy like tanks on like Venus, I guess, and they were. It was real cool looking. It was fucking cool. How about was, you, Evan? Yeah. What was your part because what what, what 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 when were you in high school because i'm a th i'm thinking a lot of our tastes develop around middle school and high school yeah right? dude i mean i don't even think i don't know if i can even remember exactly which what year it was since time is such like a blur to me now i think like back in like 2008 was when i was like in like freshman year uh, or like sophomore year of high school something like that damn and uh probably got into anime through toonami and then gradually like because it was so much more accessible to my generation with like things like crunchyroll and kiss anime i guess i kind of just like uh like took off from there like a lot of the stuff that's on this bracket i've probably watched in other places that aren't toonami um but still um, because it was way more accessible, it wasn't like, so, I guess, a specific thing that got me into anime. It was just, I was exposed to it more and then was like, oh, wow, this is actually cool. Um, well, it's I crazy mean, it thinking about a time when, like, getting comic books and buying uh, bootleg VHSs turned to a time when I think mm -hmm. a lot of American anime fans 
are pirating. <laughs> They're pirating a lot. Yeah, a yeah, part yeah. Of uh, how we figured it out. Uh, yeah, for like, sure. I don't even remember what website I watched the like my freshman year of college, which was when you were starting high school. I watched it. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it was. I don't even know where I watched it, but and that was pre Brotherhood. I don't know. You know, want to hear two quick things? Um, and plus, we can go over, right? I mean, I can talk we about can. this shit for yeah. hours. Um, mm -hmm. Two quick things. I when I went home last time, I found. I can't believe I had this. I saved. It was the photocopy list on a dot matrix printer of of the titles and the price you could get and i didn't throw it out but i gotta get that and show you guys sometime because it was really neat like because it's like you know well i guess it's not that neat and the other thing was i saw people in the chat <laughs> talk about it um you know the i collected the comic and you know if you if you how do you say it Nausicaa? how do you say nausuka i've always said nausicaa but that's yeah, the way it says in the dub no, no, yeah that might be like my favorite it's hard to say what is your favorite but i love 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 that series and I, the comic is much longer than the film. Yeah. And I used to collect the comic, and I, I the film I couldn't get, but they were talking about. I had that. There was this really shitty version that got put out that was called Warriors of the Wind, and the cover like had art that has nothing to do with it and everything. And some, I think HBO used to air it, and it was like a really kind of chopped up edit. So then when I when it finally came out, uh, I don't know if it was when Disney did or now you can just see the version with subtitles or something. You know, it was the real version, but um, I remember I had that weird Warriors of the Wind version. There were like people on it that weren't in the movie, like, because, you know, it wasn't going to be like a girl. Because, you know, got to remember, it was also a long time ago. So it was like, you know, more like hero type dudes and stuff. It was yeah. kind of a. I bet, it's, I bet you can find it online, actually, Max. Whereas the Miyazaki's movie version, at least, is like there's two women character leads, essentially, as the main. Yeah, forces. the pictures are online if you look it up, Max. Or I'll, I'll look it up right now. No, Warriors no, of the Wind right is like. Sort of makes it look like there's these like other characters and there's like a Pegasus and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm wondering, I kind of want to ask, do you guys think that like the anime style has influenced stuff that's like now coming out of like Cartoon Network and their style of animation? That's Ooh. like, I think now more flat, but more focused on like fluid animation and stuff. I mean, I. I think a lot of, I think everything's kind of influenced, like any, I think any action show, like even stuff like, you know, like OKKO OK or yeah. even like a Marvel animation, like something like, I think, because the action in anime for me was just so cooler than, and just, it, you know, it seemed more like a live action. I remember thinking when I was first got into it, like, why does this stuff seem so cooler to me? It just seemed much, you know, it just seemed like it was just less, just better. I mean, I, we to say better. Things are just different. They don't have to be better or worse. But I just remember they were very cool and they were very, the action was definitely like exciting. And even, you know, again, I, I still like normal, you know, American stuff or even whatever stuff. But yeah. I remember, I remember that was around the time when like, you know, this was around that same time when like the Batman, the Tim Burton Batman movie was coming out for me. So I remember being like, when I was into comics, stuff like, you know, X-Force or X-Men was coming out, things like that. But I remember thinking, um, how come in the American stuff, they only focus on like anatomy, but if there was like buildings or a vehicle or even certain things, it was very like not rendered or really designed. Whereas in, in, in the anime stuff, you'd be like everything, like a, a fucking computer keyboard would be drawn really sick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, like it was just different, you know? But I yeah. think now, like, I think a lot of stuff, I think it upped the game to a lot of stuff probably. Interesting. Yeah. I like how Max was saying, you know, it has influenced rap and stuff where like, I yeah, was Evan, just like- you know a lot about, well, both internet culture and music <laughs> culture, I would say. Yeah, Give us yeah, some yeah, insights. Yeah. Well, I was just listening to this one dude, uh, like John Askis, who makes like uh, this like thrash metal type rap. And he like brings up uh, Serial Experiments Lane, which I was like, had just recently finished. And it's like a great anime. Dude, what and is like, it called? Serial uh, Experiments, Lane. Experiments Lane. And like he used a sample from it that's like they have like there's yeah, there's so many just like iconic quotes from that anime that's like present day or it, I feel like it applies a lot to, you know, just life in general. It's just like a cool thing. It's like a slice of life kind of thing. And uh it's just like everything influencing everything else and now you see stuff like this popping up in in music and like punk music just like 
popular culture, really, because these yeah. people probably grew up with it. Yeah. You know what's funny? Someone in the chat had mentioned like Thundercats, and I remember, you know, uh, like you know how like in those '80s kids cartoons, like the intro would be animated so fucking badass, but then the show would look kind of crappy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All yeah, all that stuff. I remember even the kid being like these, and I would always look at the credits. I remember like these things were animated. You know, they seemed like they were animated uh, in Japan, or like the intros they give the best animators. I remember like the intros for like you know Silverhawks, Thundercats. Uh, uh, even stuff like Mask, Centurions, like the intros are sick. They look like anime, but they're these other things. And then the, the regular series, they'd probably throw to the normal, you know, animators or whatever. And that was kind of interesting. Also, you know, I, I love stuff that was, you know, when I was a really little kid, I didn't really know. But I remember when I was like, I must have been six or eight. When I was really young, at like six or seven in the morning, they'd air like, um, stuff like um like gotchaman like battle of the planets they call it here and like um even stuff like transors some of the giant robot stuff or star blazers and as i got a little older they kind of stopped because i think no one was into it or whatever but i remember waking up early because i was like i really want to see that stuff same with stuff like i remember like voltron and and uh robotech like when they came out they still seemed new like like voltron I was like what the hell is this it's so yeah crazy. but i think though anime is finally well, maybe not. I don't know. Kind of gotten away from the whole mech thing. Now, like sports anime is like yeah. it's like everyone's trying to make one. Well, I, but I think its roots are still there. I mean, I think yeah. I, I I think like even seeing how much you guys know, I'm a huge Hideo Kojima fan. The guy who made Metal Gear games, but he mm -hmm. he talks like part of the reason he loved Pacific Rim so much is because of the giant mech culture. And Attack on Titan is definitely. Like a mech further culture. riff on yeah. mech culture. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure people will keep, like you say, like they, yeah, people always kind of update and do their new version. So, I mean, it will be exciting to see what stuff is going to be in like five years or 10 years or what the new weird. It's always cool that feeling when you see something and it blows your mind. You're just like, like I remember when I first, like you said, like Attack on Titan, I remember being like, what the fuck is this? It's just so fucking weird. But mm -hmm. you, you're so into it, you know? I well, don't know. Guys, uh, I just want to, I want to, I want to start going through these matchups and then having oh, us do predictions yeah. together. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just for fun, but this is awesome. I think people love, I think people actually love the conversation about our relationship to this media being cool, like, you know, punk rock white men, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, more than, uh, more than uh, yeah. just the guessing. Yeah, I well, I guess like at least just like intellectualizing it in some way and just like recognizing its influence on popular culture in general as we are influenced by popular culture. I think it's neat too cuz again, I mean, I say this to a lot of my people cuz I'm I'm from 45, right? And like when I was a kid, like when I was in high school, I was kind of a nerd, and I remember like Friday Saturday nights, it'd be me and my nerdy friends, we'd go to Blockbuster, we'd rent the weirdest shit or we could find, we'd watch zombie movies or horrors or Godzilla or I remember there's this one Inframan. It's sort of like a, sort of like a, um, you know, like Ultraman kind of, but you know, we weren't going on dates or going to parties. We were doing stuff like that. And then um, if you told me at that age that like, yeah, when you're like, when you're like 30 or 40, a zombie show is going to be the hugest show on television. I'd be like, no fucking way. Like zombies aren't cool. Like, but it's, it's just funny how things have changed. It's, I mean, it's pretty rad really, but. Well, let's take a look. I'm changing the music competition time. We pump up this song. We're looking at parasite versus, oh, and you guys love this show. It's probably one of your favorite shows of all time. Parasite. You guys big fans of parasite? Uh I love Parasite. But what do you guys think of Blue Exorcist? Oh. I don't know Blue Exorcist, to be yeah. honest. I, yeah, I don't know Blue Exorcist. I know it's pretty popular. I hope uh, uh, Parasite wins, because I like Parasite. Um, it's Blue Exorcist, is that like a, it's like a vampire or zombie thing? It's a you... vampire or zombie? Or is it a vampire and zombie? Vampire zombie. It has to do with a, a kid and his twin brother who are both the sons of Satan. Oh, born okay, from a okay. Human womb. So it's kind of like uh, second coming evil shit. Okay. Uh, but, you know, of course, like, you know, anti heroes and shit like that. Okay. I think, yeah. I think it's been recommended to me before. I think I would like it, but I haven't seen it, unfortunately. 
So it's I'm Exorcist, to... it's demon shit. But yeah, yeah, you guys aren't as aware of it. Hey, caller, you're on the line. We're talking about Blue Exorcist versus Parasite. Our panel today, way more familiar with Parasite than Blue Exorcist. What do you think? I'm also way more familiar with Parasite because it's fantastic. Well, what do you think is going to win then? Do you think just all of us being more familiar with it makes sure that it wins more? Sometimes I'm, I'm seeing some interesting things with these uh, with these brackets so far that it seems like the shows that are uh, more generally liked, like critically liked, seem to be doing. Well, that makes sense, right? Yeah, I <laughs> guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Better than some. <laughs> Parasite, because I think the Toonami audience in general preferred Parasite over Blue Exorcist, though it certainly had its fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Toonami audience is different from the Crunchyroll audience, caller? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, would, I think I, would I wanted agree. to ask what, what you... him about that last time, and I don't know if it came oh. in, but what do you think the difference is, caller? Yeah. Well, I, I would say, um, like, there's certain shows that are going to do better on a streaming platform. Like they've had this conversation about One Piece. This is Sketch, by the way. Nice to call again. Nice Sketch. And uh, One Piece is a show that you can just binge the crap out of. That's that's a perfect show for that. But watching it once a week on Toonami, kind of a drag, even for people who love it, like me. And I, you know, I tuned in every week, but <laughs> you can only do so much. But. <laughs> Obviously, there's the, the sub versus dub thing that some people don't want to wait for the dub, so they're going to go straight to Crunchyroll to watch the sub because it's going to come out faster. So those kinds of audiences, like, they want to keep up with the shows. They want to keep up with the latest episode of Black Clover, Boruto, you know, all of those. Ship it in while it was still running. Definitely was uh, doing really well on uh, Crunchyroll. But that that's a show that's kind of transcendent. Because it has a big enough tsunami audience and a big enough Crunchyroll audience, but some shows, more so, uh, they're, they're going to do better on Crunchyroll, just uh, just because of people choosing how they can watch them. I think. Well, but the tsunami audience being up to date. Tsunami audience yeah. voted on Parasite versus Blue Exorcist. Parasite just seemed like a, it seemed like a fun twist on a new action genre, uh, coexisting with your weapon <laughs> or whatever, if that's a way to say it. And Parasite took it 64 to 36. That's right. That's um, right. That's and right. Body horror. I mean, it's a total body horror, too, you know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I think people like, you know, that violence and absurdity. Um, they, they have fun with it. They have fun seeing the weird shit. And it, it, people seem to think that Blue Exorcist ending was kind of disappointing. I don't know. I, I, I wonder if I think Parasite's ending was a little disappointing. But yeah. uh, I still have oh, fun with it. There's definitely debates about that one. <laughs> well, thanks for calling, Sketch. We're going to our next one, which is, yeah. Uh, yeah. it. well, in the bracket, it's one other. But, I, uh, it, yeah, it's Astro Boy. <laughs> Astro Boy. Old, and I, I don't know which version they're intending for this one to be because there's many versions of yeah. Astro Boy. Um, mm. But, you know, it is a version of Astro Boy against... Drum roll, please. Black Clover. Now, it's interesting because a lot of shows in this oh. north bracket, we have Blue Exorcist, Black Clover, Black Lagoon. <laughs> a lot of these color-based shows. Uh, <laughs> you see, you see patterns. What do you guys think is going to take it, though? Uh, I, re I really don't know. I I've watched an episode here and there of Black Clover. Um... I like it, and I, I I actually like it the same amount that I like Astro Boy. They're none, they don't seem to be particularly hard hitters, so I would be curious to see who this goes to. Yeah, I mean, I would say Astro Boy just because it's such a classic. You know, I remember the other, the other, what do you call this? The matchup what bracket. Yeah, the other bracket we'd have that talk about legacy shows. I mean, Astro Boy is a legacy animation, but I don't know that a lot of people like it or watch it. And like you said, what series is it? But yeah. I mean. I'd vote for it, but I'm old, so maybe maybe it won't. I don't know, but I don't really know Black Clover. I mean, is it good? You guys like it? Well, Young Falcon says yeah. it's Black Clover, and it does take it with 62%. Oh, wow. I, that's more than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Some of these are a little uh, uh, surprising. Uh, yeah. Another one, I don't know if it's really old versus new, yeah. but uh, Dr. Stone think, is very new. Yeah. I think the next round is where things are really going to heat up. Yeah. That's when it's like... 
What the do you guys think? The cream of the crop. Black Lagoon versus Dr. Stone. Which ones do you mm-hmm. like more, Evan? Um, I haven't really watched Dr. Stone. I like Black Lagoon, though. Well, what do you uh, like about Black Lagoon? Because I'm actually more familiar with Dr. Stone. <laughs> Okay, I like that Black Lagoon is has like a like a pace to it, and between action and like just like just like dialogue stuff, uh, but it's pretty action packed, so that's why I like it. Christy, are you familiar with either of these shows? I'm looking them up now. I don't know either of these shows. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Doctor Stone to me is almost like Minecraft the TV show which uh, makes it feel fun, and I, I like that it's science-heavy, so I would be rooting for it. It's, it's like Duelist all about, like, Goku says Stone probably takes it. I'm interested to see... Huh. I guess a, a lot of people like the newer anime. 71%. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I think the newer audience anime. is getting bigger. Uh, yeah, and I mean, the, the vote is on Instagram, so it's going to be younger people, people voting. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be yeah, younger it's... people. Exploding oh, there's that the animation again. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Did you like the explosion graphic, Christy? I, I think I missed it. No, yeah, oh. I do. I like it. You mean oh, okay. it comes in? Yeah. Okay. You know, back to something else, too. You know what's interesting? When they were talking about the Toonami crowd and what airs on Toonami, it's funny because when you think of Toonami before streaming, it was kind of not your only option, but it was much more of an only option to watch this stuff. And I think it being on Saturday night, I remember thinking it was like, hey, it's Saturday night. You're up late with your friends. You're doing whatever you do. But, like, you know, because it's on you know super late whereas now with streaming you watch this stuff anytime you want um i mean i don't know if toonami gets some stuff first and that's a something or what but i i don't even think so i think for instance dr stone which uh crunchyroll helped produce i think crunchyroll got first even though we're all like in the same blanket company huh. um hmm. igpx versus the person who defeated you early on I mean, I'm kind of think Soul Eater's. I, I I know Soul Eater's big. I know the show. I'm and I don't not like it. I just don't really. I'm not into it. That's all what I meant. Um. So, but I think it'll probably win. Yeah, it's gotta. I mean, IGPX is good. It's a that's a that's a classic. But Soul Eater is also a classic. Yeah. Well, I mean, mechs mechs have not been doing super well. In this, yeah. in this it's whole, interesting. It's, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's co- like besides something like Evangelion, it seems like something that's almost dated right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what and Evan was kind of saying. That well, Soul Eater did take it with seventy-eight percent, meaning we've got to click on Soul Eater, continuing its devastating reign of destruction ever since Ball Masters. Oh, now I mean, would you would you guys have thought Soul Eater would be this popular? Uh, 78 is yeah. pretty big. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think it would win by that much. I thought it would make it to this, the, what's the next round? Round three? Yeah. 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 thought it would make it there for sure. Here we're looking at Kill the Kill against Paranoid Noia Agent. It's very sad for me uh, because I think Kill the Kill is more popular, but I'm a huge fan of Paranoia Agent. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. I, I like Kill the Kill better. You like Kill the Kill better. Now, why do you like it better? I think it uh, tries to. I think it like tries to be something different, harder than Paranoia Agent. Interesting. I think <laughs> I like Paranoia Agent because I think I like series that aren't too long and can uh-huh. just do. Like I like how there's four episodes in the middle that have almost nothing to do with the main plot. Like it's on theme. <laughs> I like that, and I just okay. like the characters a lot. I yeah, just yeah. In Satoshi Khan. More of a character. Things show. I really like their characters. I don't know, Chris. Yeah. What do you think? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm actually, you were, you were telling me about Parano- uh, um, Paranoia Agent a while ago, and uh, I'm a huge, I mean, Kill a Kill is one of the things, I'm not even joking, totally very responsible for Ballmasters. I mean, when I saw Kill a Kill, I was like, what is this crazy show? This is awesome. Like this, because it's action, but yeah. it was done very stylized and there was humor yeah. it was really over the it was like over the top it was just yeah especially it fits in so well today even though it's like an older anime it yeah, fits in so well today with like this like absurdist humor that's like so popular now yeah i mean the one when they're like racing to get the, i don't know if they were racing to get to school on time or they were racing up i mean there's just some episodes where yeah. it was super over the top and i think um but at the same time again i hear paranoid agent is 
super weird and cool and only good things. So, but I'm yeah. I bet on Kill a Kill, but I'm psyched to see the other one. It is Kill a Kill with 65%. These are all around the same percentages. You notice this? Yeah. They're uh, all like. There, there, there haven't been. We haven't seen any too huge upsets. I, I think. Par so Paranoid it's... Agent is the Twin Peaks of anime, says the game quarter. Would that make sense, Max? <laughs> I don't know. I think almost everything Japanese. Uh, I, I think Serial Experiments Lane is more like the Twin Peaks of anime. That, I, yeah, that yeah, shows yeah. a little more confusing. This is over yeah. the, in honor of it losing. Yeah, I will check it. it out tonight. You gotta check it out. Um, yeah. If er anything, Ergo like, it is, too, is, like it is so weird. hard to like watch every everything, dude. There's just such a mass of media between the the comic books and the like video, like every format. It's just well, here's a tough one, too. Another tough matchup. Fooly oh, Cooly this versus one's crazy. Samurai Shampoo. Uh, mm. Both really cool shows for very different reasons. Fooly Cooly, uh, one of the only animes Lazo likes. I think he also likes Machu Picchu, though. He told me he watched that a few times. He loved Fooly Yeah. <laughs> but he loved Did you guys really think of as Adult Swim Toonami animes? Because I think I, I learned about these two through Adult Swim. So I can see when people associate Toonami or Adult Swim with anime, but uh, both are really cool. You know, they really push animation, both of them, really crazy sequences and stuff. I'm, I'm betting fully coolly, though. We, we are, we are, there, we are broadcasting Adult Swim streams, so we're reaching a little bit more of an Adult Swim audience than a Toonami audience uh, by bias, so I think for that reason, I think it probably might be fully coolly, because I do think, I think <laughs> Adult Swim fans like fully coolly. <laughs> Mm. Evan, what do you think? Yeah, I I don't know. I think it might be uh, Samurai Champloo, just because... Uh, well, you're a fucking idiot. It lost yeah. by two votes. <laughs> <laughs> two Damn. votes, though, which is fucking so close. Wreck. Yeah, uh, very close. We do have another matchup this time that is even closer than that, mm. which is uh, technically one what, vote. Wait, what was that the fully cool? What, how much did it win by? One? Two. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. People in chat are going to explode. Mean, well, why does it say 50 50? Because the percentage is like oh. it's 50 point something, you know? Yeah, okay. Uh, I could give you the exact uh, numbers, but I'm not going to because I don't want to fill us with decimals. That close, though, that's pretty crazy. Oh, Here, shit. Here's Here the yeah. bottom <laughs> east top contender Dragon Ball Z versus JoJo's. Two heavy hitters of different generations. Arguably. JoJo's a strange reinterpretation of the old, you know, right? It's a it's a long-lasting manga series. Uh, whereas Dragon Ball Z, like one of the biggest breachers to the west of popularizing anime. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think is going to happen? I, think I don't know, man. I, I, I'm more of a JoJo fan, and it's newer, but at the same time, Dragon Ball, I mean, Dragon Ball fans are Dragon Ball. I mean, I've seen they have like Dragon Ball Z sneakers and shit. Like, yeah. I mean, what do you, I mean, you guys probably know I mean, better than me. They have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sneakers too. They do? Yeah. I'm pretty, yeah. I'm like almost positive. The same people who are making like custom Dragon Ball Z sneakers are making custom JoJo sneakers. By the way, the sure. costume designs, the drawings of JoJo are so fucking good. Like, they're insane. Mm. They're insane. Everyone's got strange studded track suits. They look like they're coming out of like the 90s, like Rhythm Nation or something, like those metal things on the hats and the clothes. It's so cool. DBZ oh, Wee yeah. in chat oh, says, memes right over there. nostalgia. Z is moldy cheese. Sketcher says JoJo's going to do it. Chat seems to be, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Sarah, turn uh -oh, off your Max. video. <laughs> what happened? Sarah came in and her video turned on oh. in black. There we go. Fuck <laughs> out! You heard about that guy in the New York Times? Whatever happened, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we just pulled an Oompa, a, a Jeremy Oompa, or whatever his name is. Uh, <laughs> chat seems to say it's JoJo's, but it's Dragon Ball by one. Oh vote. no! Are you serious? <sighs> so it was decided by one old head in the fucking one old head. Wow, one old head, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's the biggest upset I would say of the day for me. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm almost disappointed by that. I mean, huh? Go for it. What remember, were you I remember. I think we were uh, on either season one or season two of Ballmash. I remember because again, I, I say this because so much of the crew at uh, on the show are anime fans, and I remember, remember when that Dragon Ball movie came out a few years ago. Mm -hmm. it was 
I remember like everyone was obsessed. Like you have to see this. It's crazy. It's insane. I remember thinking like, I didn't know that many people were into Dragon Ball still. And these are like, you know, these are people over the age of 25 or 20, you know, they're in their 20s and stuff, 30s. Uh, very into it. I don't know. People, people in chat seem upset though. Even somebody named DBZ Wee says, no, they're upset. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, agree with, I agree with the chat. I think I'm surprised. Dude, nah, whatever. Bleach I feel like DBZ should win. DBZ should win because it like, it fucking took anime on its back in like, you know. Well, you guys remember, I mean, Christy probably doesn't remember this, but in Warcraft 3, there were so many custom maps about Dragon Ball Z for oh, wow. years. <laughs> Custom what? Maps? Well, people would make like custom games in Warcraft 3 you could play online. Yeah, and DBZ has the video games. I don't think there are any JoJo videos. There is games. one, at least one fighting JoJo's game. Wow. Um, JoJo's with, games like, all the characters. Get <laughs> uh, Bleach versus Mob Psycho 100. I'm, uh, I'm huge into Mob Psycho, Mob. but Bleach is one I know, of those Bleach bigger is so fighting much more, legacy skills. Uh, yeah. It's just, a, I'm not into those shows that are like 900 episodes. Like, I've never finished Naruto, Shippuden, or Boruto. I'm not into that, like, super. And Bleach is one of those. Well, Bleach, to me, is kind of, I'm reminded somewhat, I think I said this in an earlier episode, of Yu Yu Hakusho, where it beca it's a show with a premise that intrigues me, but then, like, I feel like after I've watched Yu Yu all the way through, I don't feel like a lot of those fighting competition shows I want to watch all the way through. Like, I've done it. I did one where they fought a lot, and it was just, like, you know, I need I need a twist, like JoJo. I need them to, like, have a stupid twist on why they're fighting <laughs> for me. Yeah, like, I, I'm way, I mean, Bleach, again, like, yeah, so many fans. I'm more of a mob fan, but I, I think Bleach will probably win, but yeah. I... I feel like I see people in the chat getting angry because there are, like, multiple JoJo games, so... <laughs> oh, I guess, I guess we haven't played the, all the JoJo's games. I yeah, do wanna, I would love I wanna, to play I want to show a goodbye. I, I, I wanted to play this earlier. Uh, this is my goodbye se sequence from JoJo's that I love. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite scenes. Goodbye, JoJo. We're taping you up and putting you on the wall. We're never forgetting <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, I just love that scene. It's so over the top. Someone taping something. And that's what makes it more interesting to me than Kuwabara crying at a fucking demon tournament. The game quarter again, there's a Capcom Stardust Crusaders fighting game. That sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> that does seem fun. You guys ever watch the old OVA of Stardust Crusaders? It's very weird. Uh, it does action and music, and it's just it's so interesting looking how someone can take a comic book and interpret it completely differently. Well, the winner is Mob Psycho. The, oh, the, let's the go! Guy oh, wins with fifty-six wow. percent of the vote, which that surprises me. I think a win like that, and yeah. some of the other surprises we had, makes me go like, I don't know who's gonna fucking take this. Yeah. Our next round, Assassination Classroom versus Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Now, two seasons of Ghost in the Shell were on this bracket for some strange oh, reason, but I feel like yeah. this one represents them both at this point. Yeah. But at the same time, I do think Assassination's Classroom, the classroom of Assassinations, is more popular and newer. Uh, I don't know. It's it's more fun. It's more colorful really? and goofy. I mean, it's definitely more fun, but, like, who... Who watches anime to have fun? I think a lot of people. I think, I think yeah, there is a right. generational difference. I do think like the shows like Ergo Proxy and even Ghost in the Shell, the ones that are like really cerebral and slow aren't as yeah, big right yeah. now, especially in a yeah. Tsunami audience. But I don't yeah. know. What do you guys think? I agree. I think it's... Okay, wait, what, what are the two again? Assassination Class... It's yeah. yeah, Assassination okay. Classroom versus Ghost in Ghost the Shell. Shell. I think it's going to go to Assassination Classroom. And it's... it's I think Go on. Yeah, I think because I don't know. I, I tried to get. I feel like I tried to get into that one and never really got into it and sort of stopped watching. But you, I mean, do you guys like it? Is it good? Yeah, I don't think I've got a strong. It's goofy. On it. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, goofy. It's, it's just goofy. You know what's funny about Ghost in the Shell is like, I back when I was collect those comics on high school, I was really into Appleseed and Masumi Shiro comics, and um, he made Appleseed. Uh, I mean, he made Ghost in the Shell. And I always thought Appleseed was so cool. When Ghost in the Shell came out, I know it's such a classic comic, but they kind of just keep remaking it. Some of those, I don't know, they just always seem, I don't not like them, but they never blow me away. Like they always, 
I'm always like, the comics were so better and Appleseed was so crazy in action and the design. And I'm always was surprised like they haven't redone that or made a cool version of that. I mean, did you guys read Appleseed or follow it? I didn't. Again, maybe the mechs aren't big, but it also had kind of fighting and cops and weird sci-fi. It was, they were very like, I want to say cyberpunk, but they didn't like the anime, the animes all look like Blade Runner or something, but the comics looked really wild. Like they kind of did a little more of a normal world in it and stuff. And I don't know. Okay. Well, let, let's go you quickly through these so okay. we can have time. Uh, the, the voting opens at six, so we're going to finish oh, going through wow. these. Assassination Classroom wins, and then we're going to go through, even if we go over, we're going to go over our predicted brackets together. Uh, even if we go over the hour, because the yeah, chat yeah, yeah. wants that. Let's go a little yeah. faster. Stay on. <laughs> DBZ Kai versus Naruto. This one, uh, I think, even though DBZ OG is uh, taking Naruto. it. Do you think yeah. Naruto's going to take it? Christy? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It is Naruto with 52 to 48%, though. That's pretty Close tight. Up. We could have had yeah. multiple Dragon Balls making it forward, which would have been kind of crazy. Very weird. Kind of like having squids and Aqua Teen in the uh, summer bracket of Adult Swim. <laughs> but Naruto goes forward. Gurren Lagann versus Demon Slayer. I think Demon Slayer is very popular. Yeah. And it's new, and it's on people's yeah. minds. Yeah. I don't know. But I love Gurren Lagann. That's a great show. But, yeah, Demon Slayer, probably. I'm going to do the reveal. It's 62 to 38% Demon Slayer. Our next mm. one, One Punch Man versus Dead Man Wonderland. Both men shows oh. about men. Yeah, but gotta be One Punch Man. One Punch yeah, one... and Mob Psycho are so huge. Why do you think that's resonating with people so much? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like just One Punch Man's attempt to like break out of anime and like be uh like be something. I, I don't know. It feels like almost like it's trying to appeal to American audiences in the way that it subverts like the anime genre. I think they both two are just like really over the top and animation wise and visually. And I think, I mean, that's what I like about them personally, but. Well, our predictions are correct. 80%, one of the bigger victories this round for One Punch mm. Man. <laughs> Promise Neverland, another newer show, but this one not really an action show. More oh. like did Promise Neverland didn't it get uh canceled after one season? No, I, got one there's season. a second one coming out. Oh, okay. I know, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh but definitely that's more of a cerebral death notey type show, you know, about Death Notey. Yeah. <laughs> Helsing Ultimate though, however. I mean people like those vampires. Yeah, <laughs> the vamps. Like violence. Like I like vamps, dude. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know these two too well. It's, it's funny when, you know what I realized during this whole talk is that a lot of these more horror vampire kind of ones, I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I haven't watched or I'm not a fan of those so much, I would say, I guess. Well, Promise Neverland takes it with 68% to 32% on Helsing, which is also uh, one, of, one of our bigger gas, but not the biggest. Let's go to our penultimate, our oh, penultimate Hunter, Hunter. One. Hunter Let's Hunter go. versus Naruto Shippuden. Hunter Hunter for me. <laughs> I love Hunter Hunter. I think it's really good. Yeah. The X is silent. It, it is Hunter Hunter with <laughs> 10 to 64%. And lastly, I saved this one for last. Cowboy Bebop uh -oh. versus Attack on Titan. The other Ooh. two Titans. I'm guessing Cowboy Bebop, but I love, yeah. I love both. But Yeah, I'm it's both. it's a hard one, but I think it's got to be Cowboy Bebop. If Cowboy Bebop takes it, I don't think there are too many here that are, like, legacy shows winning. But I guess yeah. Fooly Cooly, Dragon Ball Z, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Also, if Attack on Titan doesn't get it, that's no more mech anime in the bracket. I don't know. Really Gundam yeah. got killed. Yeah. Uh, 61% to 39. It's. Wow. I thought it would be devastating, closer, honestly. Me too. Um, which is wild. Well, let's uh, let's. The oh the. the Why are we rushing? Because the the new vote starts. The new six. vote starts. So let's reveal this new bracket. I'm gonna go through one by one and click all the correct ones. Okay. Assassinations classroom. Why do we keep adding an S? <laughs> it's plural assassinations. Naruto. S class. A demon slayer. A uh, Hunter Hunter. This little Hunter Hunter guy, doesn't he look cute? <laughs> a Promise Neverland. Uh, a One Punch Man. And uh, last but not least, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Jazz. Giving us this as our current bracket. Any crazy matchups you're seeing there, guys? 
It's too small for me to see him. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. Yeah, let's go get the matchups, I I'll, guess. I'll yeah. get it zoomed in on us for us now. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. if you guys oh, want to vote, go to Instagram.com slash Tsunami Bracket. But right now, I'm going to open a zoomed-in version of this bracket for us. Oops, moving my screenshots file away. Oopsie daisy. Hey, listen, I'm doing this all on a couple computers at home. Yeah, <laughs> let's give credit where credit is due. I think and you're doing a great job. Thank you, Evan, for making a great-looking <laughs> bracket. You know, I, I didn't like One Punch Man Season 2, though, I gotta say. Yeah, I did not like it as much as they, Season they 1. They switched studios, and it wasn't as good, I thought, personally. But... Let's start looking at these matchups. Yeah. You guys want to start making some predictions? Um, I think Cowboy Bebop, seeing how strongly it crushed Attack on Titan, I think is going to go really far. Yeah. Yeah, I, I predicted the first week. I th I think Cowboy Bebop could be the winner, one of the one of the potential winners, in my opinion. Well, yeah, let, it'll let's be One Punch Man for sure. I you think. think it'll beat One Punch Man? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. And these are let's remember these are uh, Evan. And uh, Christy predictions. These are not the official yeah. votes yet. Well, then, if we say that, what do you guys think between Hunter Hunter and Promise Neverland? I think you guys are both going to say Hunter Hunter, even though I, I think I'm a huge, I'm a big fan of. But I'm a big fan of like detective, fucking, you know, shit. I like Great Pretender a lot recently, like scams and outthinking each other. That's my vibe. <laughs> Great <laughs> Pretender, yeah, that was a good one. I think Hunter Hunter, but I don't really know that show that well, and I don't know how how big is that other show. Is it big? I don't know. I didn't think it was as big as it seems to be. Mm. Mm. But what do you guys think? You guys, I think you guys, I'm going to guess you guys two? are saying Hunter Hunter between that and Promise Neverland. Yeah, Hunter Hunter. I think Hunter Hunter, yeah. Do you guys like making guesses? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm a gambling <laughs> man. No, I was actually thinking. I was like, we should really, we should like, we should do, we should get some real betting going on this, like, <laughs> ops. I guess it's illegal. And then we could. Yeah, like, we definitely could do like a... on live, and we'd be like, no, fuck my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, who do you we guys think? Probably... Do you guys think um, Cowboy Bebop takes it against Hunter Hunter? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think Cowboy Bebop keeps going until like definitely the final two. Well, we'll, we'll see the so other matchups as we go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demon Slayer versus Naruto. Now, Demon Slayer has the advantage of being new and popular. But Naruto is definitely, like, you know, people know how it ends. They know the parts they like and don't like. They disregard the filler. They, uh, they know what makes uh. it them. So I feel like that might give an advantage. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it's got to be Naruto. I think that one's going to be close. I actually think it could be the other one just because it's... I mean, isn't that movie destroying in Japan right now? Have you heard about this? No. You like it. Demon Hunter is the same one that the movie's out, right? In Japan? Yeah. Yeah. I heard it's, like, their biggest broken movie... It's 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 really doing crazy in Japan right now. Mm. Let's look. Grossed forty four million its opening weekend. The best three day opening in Japanese theaters. Yeah. It's Top true. grossing yeah. film World Wild. World Wild for the weekend, despite COVID <laughs> safety message. Mess Whoa. Measures. But but I agree with Evan though. I mean I mean Naruto's Naruto. I mean, I think you can judge based on also how much merchandising surrounds a show and like there is way more uh money to be had in naruto than uh demon hunter but, but naruto almost seems old to me now and yeah. i because i i think of it i remember it used to be on tv i think when i was in my 20s or 30s it was on like the wb or something on saturday mornings which means it had to be even older you know what i'm saying like to come out then or whatever well, water kirby mm -hmm. argues that tsunami was kept alive by naruto between 2005 and 2008, and it might be something that that audience resonates with. Yeah. I really don't true. know on that one. I'm, I'm pretty... I think it could be... A, it's going to be really close, I think. But. A lot of mm -hmm. me stumbling over my words in this uh, episode of the podcast. I hope Christina, thank you, very special thanks to her, edits it accordingly to make me sound smarter than I am. Excuse me, Max? Max, <laughs> yeah. I have an interruption here. Uh, Max. And also, special thanks to Sarah, the producer of... The Toonami mm -hmm. Audience Takeover Bracket. What's going on, Sarah? Hey, Sarah. Max. Hey, hey, Evan. Hey, Christy. Uh, voting is up. It's live chat. Go hit it up. Uh, Instagram.com at Toonami Bracket. Make you know. these predictions a reality. Come again? Make these predictions a reality. Yeah, make these predictions a reality. It's hot, just like early hot voting. Instagram votes. That's right. If you're not going to be voting for a president, at least vote for Naruto. 
I think probably <laughs> also voting. go vote for president because it's yeah. been an election. I, yeah. I went to check early voting started in New York today and I went over there to check out the line was around. I mean, couldn't believe how long the line was, but it's all week. But I thought, nice. Well, I might skip and wait till Monday morning. But then I will vote tonight on Tanami. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we he saw like the line, that. He's like, I can wait to vote for uh, Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> um, <laughs> have a week. Well, you only have 24 hours to get your vote in for the Tsunami bracket. But really? check your local regulations for early well, Tsunami's votes. going. I mean, Christy's going right now. If you guys are watching. Phone, yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's left to go vote right now. I love the dedication. If you're in Georgia, it's, it's open for another Woo! six days till now, October 30th. Oh, Andrea Rose okay. Skyheart in the chat says, to be honest, Naruto is a great anime. I like that. Naruto written as Dorito. Naruto. Dorito. Um, there was also someone else who pointed out that Naruto is kind of the second DBZ for Toonami. And I would say in that vein, could we argue that My Hero is the third DBZ? Is that the... I don't know. Yeah. That's my yeah. big thing. Mod yeah, Psycho or, or Ass Class? What do you guys say? Uh, I don't care. Did you put Naruto in the next one? Yes, put I Naruto. Did. I okay. don't care, says Evan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care for that one. For I, I love Mob, or, so I say Mob, but again, that 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 uh that other show I don't know as well, so maybe maybe it's popular, I don't know. I do like Mob myself. I'm going to put Mob there for our prediction. Okay, yeah. Fooly Cooly versus Dragon Ball Mob, Z. Huh? Could Fooly Cooly destroy Dragon Ball Z? Is yes, that possible? Yes. But it will probably not happen. I doubt it. Yeah. Let's yeah, put DBZ. I, that would be an up. That, yeah, that would, let's like, that, that would be, be an a crazy upset. upset. Let's yeah. I root for Fooly <laughs> Cooly, but I think Dragon Ball, like you said, it's legacy. It inspired so many things. I'm putting yeah. a symbol here that means, whoa, could be an upset. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what that symbol means? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Eye of Sauron. Kill a Kill versus Soul Eater. Ooh. Kill a Kill, but I bet it, I, that one's either going to be close and I could see Soul Eater. I would say Kill a Kill. I'd say Kill, kill a Kill. You guys yeah. both seem to say Kill a Kill. Dr. Stone versus <laughs> Fudge. I always forget what Black this Clover? one is. Black Clover. That's the weird I match. Mean, Black Lagoon and Blue Exorcist and Black Clover. <laughs> Those <laughs> yeah. don't seem like ones I think of as big ones. I, I think Dr. Stone. I think I'm surprised at how well Dr. Stone's been doing against, like, even Sword Art Online and stuff. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised to see Dr. Stone go, go further than I think. I, I thought yeah. Sword Art Online would have gone further. I know. That Dr. Yeah. Stone might have a bigger fan base than we thought. It's these kids I'm, who love Minecraft. I'm going to check out them. Dr. Stone tonight. It's all awesome. about crafting. It's like I, I, it's all about crafting. Chat, chat on me for saying, Spell making. To Minecraft. I'm like, no, it's awesome. It's, a lot of people hate Black Clover in the chat. Uh, my hero probably beats Parasite, though, right? Wait, what? My Hero Academia probably beats Parasite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Even though I, I love Parasite, though. I love that show. Isn't there, like, a live-action Parasite? I haven't seen it, though. I, I, I oh, enjoyed no. the live-action ones. I watched the live-action Full Metal Alchemist once. And it was, I like, like the live-action <laughs> Death Note, just to see... Uh, the American? The Canadian one or whatever? The Canadian... Well, the one... Yeah, the Canadian one where it's, like, the... Uh, he has like real feathers, whatever the demon's name Shinigami. is. Shinigami. Yeah, Shinigami. I'm surprised uh, Full Metal uh, Alchemist didn't go further also. Was Full, that Metal, Full Metal was defeated yeah. early on by JoJo's. Oh, okay. Well, what do you guys think? Two Titans. Let's go. Naruto versus Mob Psycho. Do you guys think Mob Psycho is popular and new enough, or will it get defeated by Naruto? Nah. Defeated by Nar Naruto. I agree. Dragon Ball Z versus Kill la Kill. I think we both agree it's probably DBZ. Yeah, DBZ. Yeah. Uh, with the upset symbol. Dr. Yeah, Stone yeah, you can keep My the Hero upset. Academia. Yeah. My um, Hero Academia. Yeah. And these My are, Hero. honestly, these are all the... Go either way, though. Really could. The, yeah. the, big, the biggest upset is it's the same thing in the South Bracket in the Adult Swim Challenge. Squid Billy's wasn't the heavy hitter in the South Bracket, I don't think. Or was it? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. But I don't Bleach know. was our heavy hitter in this bracket, and it has been defeated by Naruto. But the other yeah. the other corners are all heavy hitters. So what do you think takes it of those four? Uh, wait, go back to it. I can see. Uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, it's, it's glitching up on me. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Did you save? Uh, uh, it's fine. Naruto oh, okay. versus Dragon Ball Z versus My Hero Academia versus Cowboy Bebop. Of those four, who do you think takes it? Um, whoa, wait. No, 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 no. It's not... 
Go, wait, go back to it. Well, we it's, it? I, I can't, I literally can't zoom. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think, um, so it's Naruto against DBZ, right? Yes. That's the one, yeah. I think... Ah, I, that, that's, I think, the big matchup. I think, uh, probably... Probably DBZ wins Watch that. Hold, hold your mic a little far away. You get me a lot of crinkle noise, Evan. Oh, sorry. A lot of people in the chat. Oh, this is boring. All this. I'm curious what they expected or what they. Life Fire says it's a boring matchup. Then hey, they expected something more exciting. But yeah. the thing is, the popular guys win. It's just like high school again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The popular yeah, anime is gonna win. I, I mean, know that's people just... love, like Dragon Ball, and I don't not like it. Yeah, I guess I don't know. It's weird. This, you know what? The the Adult Swim show was a lot like this too, though. Like, like there were shows that I was sort of surprised that. How do I say it? Like, like, yeah. to me, like this one is clearly the best one or whatever. I mean, the bracket also since it's the first year ever doing it, like the bracket is just going to show what what people already think is the most popular. Yeah. You know. Well, hopefully, yeah, some of the people start getting interested in new shows. Like Christy's going to yeah. check out Paranoia Agent. Right, you know what I'm, I'm interested in? Know. I'm interested in. Uh, have you played this thing called uh, Blaze Ball? No. No. Yeah, I think it's like uh, this like baseball simulation thing where like people are getting like people are getting behind these like AI teams, sort of like a bracket. Oh, it's like its own sport. Yeah, kind of do An something like that. Baseball simulation horror game. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, dude, I gotta get into that. Well, guys, I want to thank you for being here looking at these and talking with me and I hope you had a good well, time. Max, I like we could really get really in depth into anime anime and stuff. Yeah. Let me let me just say thank you for having me and us here today. I hope, yes, I hope you guys you think I did a good job. You know you yeah. know the one that got knocked out early that I was actually a big fan of? I really like uh Blue Sub uh what is it, number six? Yep. I, I like that series is really good. Like you said, it's kind of short. I think it's like six or ten episodes, and it's not a huge anime you think of a lot, but it was really a cool anime. I thought yeah. a weird. I liked it. Everyone, check that one out too. Blue Sub Number yeah. Six. Hmm. Well, join us live on Tuesday at five p.m. to see what happens on the AdultSwim.com oh, or man. on the app on the AdultSwim.com. We're going to see what happens next. Start voting right now at the Toonami Bracket Instagram page. Don't forget. Also, if you want to hear this again, you can either check the replay on our website or listen to the podcast. It'll be slightly trimmed. A lot of that sweater noise hopefully will be cut out from Evan. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you to Christina for editing that. It's the Adult Swim Podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. And email us at adultswimpodcast at gmail.com. Hopefully you guys had a fun time watching this show. My name's Maxime Simone, and I'm 31 years old. <laughs> Congrats. It was your